Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So this week we're going to be talking about Cyprus. We did a race in Cyprus uh, in November. Uh, but before we start talking about the race in Cyprus, have you got anything planned today, Rachel? We do. We're off on a road trip. Road trip? To where? To Athlone. Athlone. Oh. For a race. Race? One race? No, no, never one race. Uh, this, this time it's going to be three races. Yeah, and where is it? Is it outdoor, indoor, road? It's indoor track. Indoor track. Indoor track, correct. So today we're going to Athlone. Uh, we're both doing three races. It's, I'm doing the 1500 first, then it's going to be the 800, then 3000, and Rachel will be doing the same. Uh, how do you feel about doing three races in a day? Is it not going to be too hard on the body? Um, uh, no, hopefully not. I, well, I have gotten a little bit tired in the past on my third race, but I need to do a bit of a build with the mileage and with run, uh, runs at pace for upcoming races anyway. So it's, uh, if I don't perform best, it'll be good training anyway. So I'm kind of taking it as a fringe benefit either way. So the reason why we're doing three races in a day helps your body to get rid of lactate pretty quick. Because as you know, when you're doing a 1500 meter track, lactate's gonna build up pretty quick. So this is going to help our bodies to get rid of it when we do the national track in July and we're going to Sweden for the World Championships. So this is just training for us. We're not going to go for times or nothing. I'm just going there to win and uh, good training session. So anyway, that is going to be today. So first of all, let's talk about uh, Cyprus. Was it easy to book? Very easy to book. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, booked it, I didn't book it. I booked it, yeah. yeah. Um, get the website's really clean, really clear. Um, instructions are very easy to follow. They have multi languages um, with most of the browsers, as far as I'm aware. And the information box that they send out to, um, I suppose, racers from abroad is very easy as well to follow. Okay. So before the race, is there any expo or anything? Yeah, well, they have the, the bag pickup, um, which are bib number and a couple of bits um, a few days in advance well from a few days in advance you can get to that and i don't know if it was an expo though beforehand they do have stuff during the event there, yeah there was no expo expo before the race it was just a uh, pick up your bibs kind of stuff wasn't it yeah bibs t-shirts hats yeah. all the goody, like, goody kind of bags there was somebody with a gopro filming people picking up the bibs there and was stuff. Yeah. yeah yeah they have a very um, strong media presence so, uh, <coughs> start line, was there any banter at the start line? No, I wouldn't say there was much banter. No, well, they did, they, you got interviewed actually, didn't you? At the start yeah, I, I got interviewed on yeah. TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they broadcast all the races live um, for this particular one, and you were, yeah. I, I, I liked the start, of the start. Yeah. it was nice. There was a lot of music going on, and a lot of cameras and film crew. So, there's no banter really, because the thing with this race in Cyprus, Cyprus is a small island, so a lot of people doing this race are kind of from all over Europe. There are, yeah, there's yeah. Loads, loads of holiday makers there. Yeah. Um, there's a good few locals as well, but it's very, very mixed. Um, so you probably have a lot of people who are kind of mm -hmm. taking it as a fun event to do on holidays. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some good runners. Not there are. Well, well, fun, well, there's fun <laughs> runners. There's some yeah, good but we see it as fun to do on holidays. Yeah, I suppose. You know, so. Uh, so the race, marshals. Marshals, yeah, it's well marshaled, well marked out. Mm. Um, the routes are very clear to follow. Um, so there's very good, really good marshaling coverage throughout. You know, I enjoyed yeah. the route, to be honest with you. The route was lovely. Uh, through the streets of uh, Lanaka. Yeah, yeah, you go kind of along the back street. And then start. you finish on the sea view. Yeah, along the promenade, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. The finish is a beautiful finish. I enjoyed it, to be honest with you. Didn't enjoy the weather, it was too hot. Uh, so after the race, any banter? Is, well, yeah, I would say there's a bit of crack, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, kind of, I got chatting with a few people and had a, had a bit of a laugh. I noticed you nice. were talking to the guys, yeah. When I only went for a coffee and a come back and it's like, you're talking to the guys, yeah. It's, it's okay, I didn't get jealous. No, no, it doesn't seem that As way. soon as I came, they walk away then. Well, that's, that's to do with you, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It's just don't talk to me for some reason. <laughs> Food and drink after the race? Food and drink. Um, there was a bit of... Well, they were giving out fruits and stuff, wasn't it? The usual kind of bits of Fruit and water. Fruit, water. fruit and water. However, juices. where you do finish, there's a McDonald's, there's a Burger King. So you finish, it's a holiday resort, so you're finishing on the, the sea front and there is loads of restaurants, isn't there? There is heaps, yeah. Yeah, so 
when you drop your bag off or whatever, you just take your wallet and stuff and there's plenty of restaurants. And some of them actually in your, your finished bag, you have vouchers for some of the local restaurants and cafes. They're given mm. discount codes and um, you know, a free side of chips or whatever if you show your bib number or something, like stuff like that. Yeah, like there's Porter Cabins, there's Porter Loose and we went McDonald's, didn't we? No, Burger King for the right. toilet. Yeah. They let yeah. you in McDonald's and Burger King and that to go toilet. So. Yeah, they know it's a huge event for the, the locality, it brings in thousands of people, so. So, the race, you t-shirts and medals. Yes. There's t-shirts. There is t-shirts, yes. What's the t-shirt like? T-shirts, uh, this year is, well, 2023 edition mm. was pink, the 2022 one was blue. And the medals is, uh, what's this one? That is the 2023. Yeah, 2023 is yeah. Uh, another one. Yeah, that's also, or is that, I think that was 2022. 2022. I, I yeah, Rachel did it twice, I've done it once. Uh, first year I had COVID, I think I was sick. Uh, <coughs> and there's another one. What's That's this one? my second place. Second place medal? Okay, second. Well second, done. yeah. And what's this one? That is, that's from the 2022 edition. There's another one. Nice medals, they're very heavy actually, I could wrap her this across her head, knock it out. Uh, so, also, she, Rachel got trophies two years in a row. Uh, this one is for third place, so she got third in the first year. Uh, you got a PB that year. Yeah, it is. Uh, it wasn't a fast time, but it was a PB for you, so it yeah. was fast at the time. Yeah. Uh, this year, she got second. It's actually very nice as well. I actually say these these trophies are lovely. They are. They are. They're, they're very unique they're, as well. So they're well designed, well thought out. So you came third and second. So yeah. well, well done. So we're going to go again, obviously. We will. Yeah. So yeah. there was no That's prize money, was it? No prize money. No prize no. money, but the trophies are nice. The trophies are nice. I think the event is really well organised. The streets are nicely decorated. It's kind of in the run up to Christmas. I as actually well. think they should give you prize money though, because there's a lot of people doing this race. There there's is a huge thousands, yeah. thousands yeah. doing this race actually, thousands. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and they cover like it's not just like that was the five k that we competed in, and they also do the ten k, the half marathon, the full marathon as well. So, you know, there's a range, there's a range yeah. of events there, so there are thousands of If people. you don't like racing in the heat, I recommend just do 5K, because I did the 5K, and I was too hot. I almost fainted for the end, it was roasting. I thought it was very hot, but you probably don't. I, I didn't think it was that that hot, but yeah, it was, it was nice, I enjoyed it. Yeah, so the weather, good. Decent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. food. Food. Restaurants and stuff yeah, there's, in Lanaka. There's quite a variety of places there's to go. There's shitloads yeah. of places to eat in Lanaka. Uh, it's obviously an holiday resort, uh, and the food's the food was nice. Yeah, just some nice. Just some some lovely cafes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know, can get a, kind of get off the beaten track and away from the, the chain yeah. restaurants and stuff. Yeah, yeah you don't need to go to Burger King and of McDonald's and that and eat that crap. There's some nice restaurants you can eat, and it's not dear. Is it? It's not no, expensive. No, it's fairly reasonable. Yeah. Hotels. Hotels. We got a lovely Airbnb actually. We got a lovely Airbnb, and outside the Airbnb. Millions of cats again. <laughs> the Greeks love cats. It must be their god or something. I don't know. There was millions of cats, and I was stroking a lot. Yeah. I like cats, but uh, there was the millions. had loads as well. Yeah, there were thousands and millions of cats. Uh, results easy to find. Results, yeah, yeah, very easy to find. Um, yeah. And what I really liked about this event as well, I don't know if you've shown it to everybody, but they do a little um, badge for when you finish. So they, as soon as they see somebody coming through in a place they're they're badging them straight away so they can't really be any mistakes uh, you know so i thought that was a really nice touch for them as well and yeah. you, you have details then the award ceremony so you know and uh, you know when to when to hang around for and when you'll be free you're supposed to go then as well for the rest of the day and um, which i haven't I haven't seen that type of badge done in many events i've never seen it before in, you know to be honest a good idea if we ever put on a race i think you know i could use this uh, so would you go back to this race yes 100 percent yeah, I enjoyed the race. I don't know where I came. I might have came fifth or something. I was with the leaders for the first kilometre, but the heat just got me. Uh, <clears throat> there's nothing I can do with that. But I will do the race again. I enjoyed it. Uh, I like the location. Uh, the flight is long though, isn't it? For my then six hours. Flight, yeah, over six, six hours. hours. But it's yeah. cheap enough yeah. price, about 100 yeah. quid. Yeah. Uh, the Airbnb was nice. I'd like to say that again. It was good. Yeah. Uh, but I did enjoy the race. It was nice. I enjoyed the finish at the end. Uh, it's an easy course, it's a fast course, I'd say. Well, not super fast, but it's it's zero all the way around. So there's no hills, it's just flat all the way around. But it, you know, if you like the heat, you'll run fast. Uh, if I was you guys, I would book it. So it's in Lanka, Cyprus, and it's always around end of November. Yeah. Your birthday isn't just yeah. around there. Yeah, yeah. About November the 20th, 21st, 22nd, around there. 
I know next year's it, Ilya, 16th. It'll change probably because the weekend day is moving and that. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's it, towards mid end of November. But I do recommend it. Trust me, you will enjoy this race. There's thousands of people, uh, but you know, don't get in your way. And they recommend the 5k. You can't really get lost. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> that's that. So we're going to go to the track now. Uh, so our drive. An hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah so uh, we will put that footage up. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, because obviously yeah, this is Saturday, so we'll probably go out tonight for a curry and go cinema or something and have a glass of wine. Then Sunday, I'm doing a long run. We're both doing the long runs at pace, so that's going to be uh, difficult. So I'm not sure if we'll put the footage of the track on Sunday or Monday. So next week, where are we going? We didn't even talk about this, actually. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, so where are we going? We have... Norway. Germany? Either or, yeah. Uh, we have options. We'll go Germany, Wolfsburg. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. Yeah. Germany. You know what the Germans like? Yeah, very organised. But are it's, they really organised? Yeah, all to be revealed. Mm -hmm. All to be revealed. Yeah, tune in. Yeah, tune in. So just remember, guys, train hard or die trying. See you next week and come back for the track. <laughs>